Hi everyone, Trainer Brandy here, and I have K9 Gisha with me today. Say hi, K9 Gisha. Oh, I know. K9 Gisha is one of those, um, what we call very strong, very independent breeds. She is a Rottweiler. Um, she is a fully intact Rottweiler. She still has her tail. Uh, she comes to us from Serbia, actually. So, long ways away. <laughs> And yes, she does know English. We also taught her a little bit of German. So, amazing. Now, what I wanted to talk about today was something called the traveling dog, okay? Now, I'm not talking about taking your dog on trips. I'm talking about when it comes time for walks. What does a traveling dog look like when they're on their walks? Now, if you've ever subscribed to any sort of dog psychology, um, any of those trainers out there that use dog psychology, um, of course, United K9 being one of them. Uh, I think Caesar Milan is another one. So if y'all ever seen the Dog Whisperer, or I think he's got a new thing going on, uh, Better Human, Better Dog. I know you got your ball. Um, he will talk about what a forward-moving brain looks like in a dog, or what a traveling dog looks like when they are, you know, fully engaged in their pack walk. So I have a little video of Gisha who is walking with me off leash in. Um, our neighborhood uh, walkway out here and she is in full traveling mode so let's take a look and see exactly what a traveling dog looks like check it when you are traveling with your dog you want them to be in generally a straight line the head will be in line with the rest of the body the ears are going to be relaxed and back you're going to see the head down just a little bit tail is going to be in a neutral position and oftentimes their mouth will be open really wide with her tongue sticking out. So this is the standard traveling dog position. When your dog is in a good quote unquote zone for walking, this is generally what they're gonna look like. 